In the previous video, we had learned about resonance effect. In this video, we are going to be talking about hyperconjugation. Hyperconjugation is going to is basically the inter electron, the interaction of electrons of the pi system and the sigma bond, the adjacent sigma bond of the substituent groups. Now, the electrons of the CH single bond will basically move towards the multiple bond. Wait, so let's take the example. That's the easiest way to understand it. What happens is this bond between carbon and hydrogen is going to move towards this, this carbon, carbon bond and this double bond is in turn going to be shifted towards the CH2 group. And this will lead to the formation of a negative charge, a negative charge on the CH2 group and a positive charge on the hydrogen. Here you have a double bond, CH2 will get a negative charge. Now since there are three uh, hydrogen atoms, there are three structures which are possible. So you have hydrogen, have a positive charge, carbon hydrogen bond, double bond CH, CH2 negative charge and similarly the third hydrogen can also form a positive charge. Now since there is no bond between carbon and hydrogen and this is also called as no bond resonance and these are stru these contributing structures are called as hyperconjugative structures as well. So more is the number of alpha hydrogen atoms or the carbon the uh, hydrogen atoms attached to the carbon more will be the hyperconjugative structures and so more will be the stability and we will be talking about that at a later point. So if that particular group is attached to a CH3 that will be more stable than a CH2 CH3. So this only has two alpha hydrogens and so the number of hyperconjugative structures will be just two and the number of hyperconjugative structures will be even less if you have a CH CH3 taken twice and of course you have you, you basically don't have hyperconjugative structures in this case. So basically in this carbon atom if it had been just CH3 the number of hyperconjugative structures would be the highest. If there is a CH3 substituted then obviously the one of these will not be possible. If two of these are substituted then two of them are not possible or just one would be possible and if there are three then the hyperconjugative structures are even less. So actually there is an orbital concept also behind all of this that is exactly what we will be learning right now. So according to the orbital concept let's take carbon hydrogen so this is our carbon and hydrogen bond okay and uh, this carbon atom is bound to two other atoms plus it will be bound to the carbon carbon double bond so double bond is denoted by the overlap of p orbitals Now, the, this CH bond is breaking, right? And here you have a sigma bond, here you have a pi bond and a sigma bond. So, this CH bond basically in propene, the electron pair of the CH bond is in conjugation with the pi, with the pi electron pair of the double bond. And so, there is a delocalization of these this the electrons of this bond to move towards this one and this in turn leads to the formation of the overlap of p or this because of the overlap of the p orbitals similarly this is also possible for a carbon in a positively charged carbon atom so let's assume here you have hydrogen and hydrogen so obviously when it's positively charged it will have an empty p or i'm sorry empty p orbital and so so actually
actually this carbon atom is supposed to be bound to another hydrogen so here oh sorry i'm sorry here hydrogen so this will lead to the formation of a hyperconjugative structure with this carbon atom because there will be a delocalization of this the electrons of the ch bond so here you have an empty 2p orbital and this leads to the formation of a positive charge on the carbon atom so one of the ch so here in one of the ch uh, the ch bonds will align itself in such a way that it can over it, it is in the plane of the empty 2p orbital and the electrons in this be, between ch bond will get delocalized with the with the uh, electrons of the p or i mean basically the empty p orbital and there is a partial overlap of the sp3 this is an sp3 and the p sp3 s bond sorry sp3 s bond of carbon and hydrogen with the empty 2p orbital so there is an overlap and that's how you get the hyperconjugation structure so there is there is an overlap because one of the ch bond is aligning itself in such a way that it's in the same plane of the empty 2p orbital and there is this in turn leads to the delocalization of the electrons and leads to the partial overlap of the sp3s and the empty 2p orbital and this in turn will explain as to why there is a stability of the carbon with a positive charge so here so the same thing we're taking a carbocation carbon with a positive charge so here you have a positive charge what happens is one of this electron moves the electron pair is moved towards the carbon carbon bond this leads to the formation of a double bond and here you have two hydrogens this does not get a charge because the tetravalency is maintained and the number of structures formed are going to be three structures so here you have a h plus similarly So this leads to the formation of the various resonance structures. Now larger is the number of alkyl groups which are attached, more will be the resonance. And this basically means that now if the carbon atom, in this case we are talking about this carbon atom. So if that if the carbon atom had just if it is attached to just one carbon atom the number of resonance okay let's start from the first so if it's a methyl one the hyperconjugative structures are basically zero so this hyperconjugative structures number is going to be less than when it has one ch3 group then this would be lesser than the one when it has two CH3 groups and this will be even less compared to the one when it has three CH3 groups. This is very important when we talk about stability of an intermediate ion. So obviously, if you have, in case of this one, you will only, you don't have any resonance structures, sorry, hyperconjugative structures. In this case, because of the, uh, this carbon, it has three. In this case, it has three plus three, that's six. And in this case, it has nine. And that means the number of step, I mean, the number of hyperconjugative structures is increasing with the increase of the, pre I mean, with the increase in the number of hydrogen atoms with that we finish the electron displacement in covalent bonds in the next video we will be discussing about the basic fundamental concepts in organic reaction mechanisms what they are what are the what what forms and so on do check it out